Doktor diiktiraf sebagai top dunia guys Okay guys, welcome back to my channel Summit on channel Sebelum tu, yang mana belum subscribe Boleh tolong subscribe, like and share video ni Bantu saya untuk Supaya orang ramai tahu video saya Okay, okay hari ini Saya akan buat satu video Tentang reaction Orang luar negara terhadap negara kita Tentang COVID-19 Kerajaan Malaysia menguruskan COVID-19 Dan dibantu oleh rakyat-rakyatnya Artis, aa, dibantu oleh Masyarakat sendiri First of all, tujuan saya buat video saya pada hari ini Saya nak kongsikan macam mana pandangan orang luar negara terhadap Malaysia Tentang COVID-19 ni, mereka amat bangga dengan kita Lagi-lagi negara jiran, Indonesia Okay guys, saya akan tunjuk video-video orang luar negara yang react tentang COVID-19 di Malaysia Bagaimana Malaysia uruskan COVID-19 ni Okay, jom kita tengok video yang pertama daripada Indonesia dia react tentang negara kita Jom. Banks Banks lent to the borrowers for 6 months Number wow. 8 Universities Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food oh as well Oh my god Number 7 Malaysia. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. Number six, ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Oh my God, now, that's very good. Good. That's a good. I will just keep home. saying one Malaysians because it's just really amazing. Were provided a free hotel, <gasps> free food, and COVID-19 testing free food during their two, during week two weeks quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love. It is so inspiring. It is super inspiring, guys. I'm sorry that I turned into so emotional. I feel like I am super jealous. Aku sangat iri. Aku sangat cemburu sama kalian semua yang ada di Malaysia. Bagaimana pemerintah kalian bisa bekerja sama dengan sangat baik untuk mengatasi semua ini masalah coronavirus ini dari level masyarakat yang paling bawah sampai dengan level paling atas yaitu pemerintahan sangat mendukung sekali proses ini dan itu membuat saya sangat terharu dan membuat saya merasa sangat uh, I'm jealous ok guys, itu video pertama daripada negara jiran kita okay, kita akan tengok video yang kedua Shout out doctor, doctor to the Emirates. She's been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. Doctor and not only does he does like a top junior guy. He's the top doctor. No way. In the whole goddamn world. She's Louise. So Malaysia actually like that. Oh, wow, 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 guys. Shout out to all the Malaysian people out there. Yo. You guys should be very proud to have the number one has been ranked number one top doctor in the entire goddamn world. Yo! The top doctor Jeez. in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. For eight universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number <laughs> What the, wait, 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 wait. What the hell is going on? Your country is actually doing that i was never expecting that bro what whoa to all the malaysian people out there i'm really proud of you we are proud of you you know I mean, everyone is proud of you thank you the video kedua guys okay jom kita pindah ke video yang ketiga For the top doctors in the entire world wow coronavirus and not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. 
Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest oh. Anglo Park in Asia oh, was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Ignoring politics, opposition leaders came nice. together and forgot Malaysia. about politics for the good of Malaysia. That is really cool. That is really cool. Protecting the most college students made PPE. Even the Malaysian born with no arms didn't oh. let that stop her from making PPE. Oh, Cool as that, guys. I'm so moved by this video. Guys. To Malaysia and Malaysian people, you inspired a lot of people. We salute you for doing the best you can to survive in this crisis. Okay. Uh, ni video yang ketiga dan ni apa ni? Ni tadi video ketiga. Ni video yang keempat. Total ada lima video saya ambil. No freaking way did banks let you borrow for six months. Oh my god, Malaysia is the country. Is the country. Oh my god, I'm moving to Malaysia. Like, what am I doing here? I'm moving to Malaysia. Number eight, universities. Mm. Universities allow students to stay for free, provided the food as well. They let you stay in universities for free and provided food as well. Oh, na na, that is. Mm, what are we doing in this other countries in the world? I'm Number going there. Five, protecting Don't the most care. vulnerable. Malaysia did <laughs> a great job of protecting those that were most vulnerable homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number four, Look Malaysians that. returning home. Amazing. Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID 19 testing. During their two week quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Aww. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, uh -huh. there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team oh, wow. to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE. College students made PPE. Even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. is teamwork. Mm. It didn't matter if you're a celebrity or an average mm. person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. Mm. All Malaysians came together Preach. for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia cry. was in the entire I'm moving world. there. If you get trouble, I'm moving there now. Okay guys, to video yang keempat. Nampak tak? Korang bangga tak dengan Malaysia? Guys, ni video yang terakhir eh. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysia. The power of Malaysia. Wow. Wow. They work hand in hand, guys. So here we go, guys. Donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Imaret wow. provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical supplies. Wow, that's so lovely. Good Number job. 14, Number top 14. doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world. At wow. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able to build temporary this hospitals very, very awesome, efficiently guys. and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. What? Number nine, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number eight, wow. universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number six, wow. ignoring politics. Wow. Opposition leaders came together yeah. and forgot yeah. about politics. This is what we really need. Malaysia. Ignore politics. Now, that is really cool. Number uh. five, protecting the most Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in oh. public halls and provided a tent. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've yes. never seen so much respect yes. and love for frontline workers. It was so that beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave 
to the frontline workers. That is Number two, fixing Respect. the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. Yeah. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, Ow. a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners what? made PPE. College students made PPE. Even a Malaysian born with no wow. arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. Wow. This is what we really need. Okay guys, uh, tu merupakan reaction-reaction daripada luar orang luar negara yang mereka inginkan kerajaan mereka melakukan perkara-perkara ini untuk negara mereka. Ada yang sampai menangis, ada yang sampai terharu dan bangga dengan rakyat Malaysia dan kerajaan Malaysia. Kepada frontliner, terima kasih sebab telah bekerja keras untuk rakyat-rakyat Malaysia sehingga kan sekarang nama Malaysia di seluruh negara. Okay guys, saya terlalu bangga dengan Malaysia Semua boleh komen di bawah Saya bangga jadi anak Malaysia Okay guys, uh, sampai situ saja Dan selepas ini saya akan Kongsikan satu video yang Semua orang negara tu react lah Saya Bagi lepas ni Saya pasang lepas ni Saya apa-apa je lah you, you want You you can do so You you do You can You, you want Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share and like. Bagi tahu kawan-kawan, semua kawan-kawan yang ada di Malaysia supaya mereka tahu bahawasanya negara-negara luar tengah orang Kelantan kata tengah kecek pasal negara kita. Ha, tengah kecek. Okay guys. Ha, okay bye bye. Imagine your country is going through a huge political crisis. You have a new leader and several states have new governments. To add to this, not only is your country facing political crisis, but also economical, health, and defense. And then, the worst thing that could ever happen, happens. The coronavirus hits Malaysia. Malaysia was in some serious trouble. But don't you ever underestimate the power of Malaysians. Here are 15 ways that Malaysia did the impossible. Number 15, donations and volunteer organizations. So many people volunteered and so many organizations helped out. For example, Imaret provided healthcare workers with food, AC units, and raised over 3 million ringgit for medical supplies. Number 14, top doctor. Dr. Noor Hassam Adula has been ranked one of the top doctors in the entire world at fighting the coronavirus. And not only does he present accurate facts, he's able to do it in a way that gathers support and also keeps people calm as he does it. Number 13, the movement control order and the enhanced movement control order. These things are not easy to pull off and it took so many people and different organizations to work together to have them work. Number 12, indirect volunteers. There are so many people that helped out and volunteered and did so many different things like food delivery. Number 11, building temporary hospitals. Malaysia was able to build temporary hospitals very efficiently and quickly. For example, the largest agro park in Asia was able to be built into a hospital in three days. Number 10, the Tuvle Cluster. The Tuvle Cluster complied with any order from MOH and they never complained even though they had to wait long hours in the heat. Number 9, banks. Banks lent to the borrowers for six months. Number 8, universities. Universities allowed students to stay for free and provided them food as well. Number 7, stipends. Nearly 4 million homes received up to 1,600 ringgit. Number 6, ignoring politics. Opposition leaders came together and forgot about politics for the good of Malaysia. Now that is really cool. Number 5, protecting the most vulnerable. Malaysia did a great job in protecting those that were most vulnerable, homeless and foreign workers. They were put in public halls and provided a tent. Number 4, Malaysians returning home. 
Malaysians returning home from overseas were provided a free hotel, free food, and COVID-19 testing during their two-week quarantine. Number three, respect for frontline workers. I've never seen so much respect and love for frontline workers. It was so beautiful to see all the support Malaysians gave to the frontline workers. Number two, fixing the PPE shortage for frontline workers. At the beginning of the crisis, there wasn't enough PPE for all the frontline workers. And so, Malaysians took it onto themselves. For example, a fashion designer realized she had a skill set that could be very valuable. And so she took the initiative to organize an entire team to make PPE. Prisoners made PPE, college students made PPE, even a Malaysian born with no arms didn't let that stop her from making PPE. And number one most important is teamwork. It didn't matter if you were a celebrity or an average person. It didn't matter your social status. It didn't matter your gender, your religion, your ethnicity. All Malaysians came together for the better of Malaysia. And that's how Malaysia was able to do the impossible, to go from a country that had three times more cases than any other country in Southeast Asia, to now be one of the safest countries in the entire world. I'd like to thank all the Malaysians that helped make this video possible. So many of you wrote to me, sent me videos and pictures, and specifically Pacific Baku, who's a motorcycle rider, let me take lots of his footage, along with Q Productions, who took beautiful drone shots. And you can find links to their channels in the description. So thank you to all of you who helped make this video possible.